I want to talk to you about a thing called uptalk or a high rising terminal. It's where you talk like this and the end of your sentence always sounds like a question which indicates to other people that you're not done talking and it's usually used by valley girls or at least that's the stereotype and a bunch of other California girls and so on. You probably know it as the valley girl accent and it's very obnoxious and unprofessional. But there's a reason for it. Now, I read some interesting articles about uptalk, or upspeak, or high-rising terminal, or whatever you want to call it. There's one by The Cut that's uh, something about uptalk is about is not unprofessional. It's, it's about getting you to shut up and listen. Well, it's interesting that they say that because that's exactly what it does. The reason that uptalk is unprofessional, hot garbage, and along with vocal fry are basically the comic sans and papyrus fonts of speaking is because uptalk, like this, is a way to hijack the way that we normally converse. See, most people, when they talk, they engage in this activity called cooperative interruption. Um, there are a couple of other ways to say that. But basically, if you end a sentence and someone perceives that you're almost at the end of your sentence, they'll start their sentence right as you're finishing your sentence. And this cooperative interruption helps to keep the flow of conversation going. It eliminates any gaps between talking. It lets the other person know you're engaged. The reason that uptalk is terrible and cancerous and awful and shouldn't be used and anyone who uses it is a crappy person is because uptalk is used to hijack, to sabotage the way that people normally talk. Uptalk is for people who are not confident, who are not able to control things on their own. It is a way for them to get in on a conversation and control it inappropriately. It is a method for stealing power from other people that they do not deserve. Uptalk is used to make every single segment of a sentence or full sentence seem like it's a question. So the person who's listening to the person doing the uptalk are the people that are listening. When they hear the rising inflection at the end of the portion of the sentence, then it sounds like they're asking a question that will require some thinking, but there's no question. Now, there's the, the other reason that you use a rising inflection is to indicate you're not done with your sentence yet. And that's the actual reason that uptalk is used to sabotage speech. Whenever you're talking, and did you see what I just did there when I said whenever you're talking? I wasn't done with my sentence. So whenever you're talking and you're not done with your sentence, but you leave a pause so that people can acknowledge that they understand what you're saying. Did you see all those high-rising terminals? You, you, you got a nice earful of that? When you do that, it gives other people the opportunity to show you that they're engaged, to nod in agreement, or if they have some sort of objection, it leaves them space to drop an objection in there. What Uptalk does is it makes it sound like you're no longer, like you're still finishing a sentence, and because you're still finishing your sentence, people don't want to be rude, so they won't interrupt you. It's hijacking normal conversational mechanisms to control a conversation. Uptalk is bad. Uptalk is indefensible. The article that says that it's about getting you to shut up and listen, they're making excuses for people who need to stand up for themselves otherwise. You can show confidence in a variety of ways. Uptalk is not one of those ways. Uptalk is dishonest. It is hijacking. It is sabotaging. Exactly as I said, those words are appropriate to describe the mechanism by which uptalk functions. It is dishonest. If you have problems with people not listening to you, learn to speak up. Learn to speak louder. Learn to speak with confidence. You need to go to Toastmasters or something. Take a public speaking course. You need to speak to people in a way that commands some degree of attention and respect. And you're not going to get it if you talk like this. And talking like this is really just a way to hijack it because you don't have confidence and you think no one will listen to you otherwise, it really is disrespectful to the people that you're up talking to. So stop doing it. Learn to speak like an adult. And you know what? That brings up another little thing. I'm tired of people calling it talking like men. 
It's not talking like men. It's talking like a normal person who has confidence and demands respect in what they say. It's talking like someone who should be listened to. And if you characterize men as the only people that should be listened to because that's the way that they talk, you're the one who has a sexism problem. Talk like someone who is worth listening to. Don't use dishonest techniques like uptalk to hijack it and try to get through. Thanks for watching. Support links down below. You, you probably know the drill if you watch my stuff by now. Also, go check out my channel where I'm going to push all these political things, these socio-political discussions. They're going to go to Jody's Spicy Takes. The channel Jody's Spicy Takes will have this video as well as the regular Jody Bruchon channel. But eventually, I will unlist them on my main channel and all the spicy stuff will only be on Jody's Spicy Takes. Go check it out. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day. And by the way, if you talk like this... Then I'm going to hit you with a shortbread cookie because I don't like valley girls and they're afraid of shortbread cookies. I didn't up talk on that last one. You're not listening anymore. Bye now.